hate you. I hate you so much. Put that away. Um, I had a client of mine contact me that their home was damaged in the flood of Harvey. Holy crap. Oh my gosh, let me show y'all. This is my office. Look at all of this stuff. So I knew that they had been collecting items for donations and things like that for people affected by the flood. This is a lot of stuff. Wow. Well, it looks like they got the stuff that I sent. Those shoes look familiar. There's even dog food. Wow. I'm blown away by this. Like, I look at all of this baby stuff. So I definitely shouldn't be surprised because that's just Keller Williams. I mean, if you're looking for a great brokerage to be with or just a real estate company overall to do any business with, Keller Williams is the company. Trust me. Oh, wow. Um, now, that just totally distracted me from what I was supposed to be talking about. Um, oh, yeah. So I had a client contact me and her and her family um, had to move out of their home because it was damaged by the flood and don't know when, you know, they'll be able to get everything fixed and back up and running. So we're going out today to find them some rental properties to look at a few and hopefully we can nail one down. They're coming on the market so quickly and leaving so quickly because there's so many people in the same predicament right now so had to come to the office um do some preparation for that kind of know the area that we're going to and all that other stuff so i can be the best realtor ever um so yeah let me get this done i have about 50 minutes before i'm supposed to meet up with them so i'll talk with y'all later bye no. <laughs> Hello, Andre. What's up? I see strength. I see compassion. Ouch. Are you vlogging? <laughs> is, this, is that what this is? Is this your vlog? Yes. What's up, Alexia's vlog? This is her more than amazing brother, Andre. Just call me Dre, though, you know. I'm that dude. Or Ray Ray. I'm Dre, not Ray Ray. Little brother Ray Ray. I believe that she is. But anyways. Obviously. She's a troll. I'm the boss. I'm older. End of story. <laughs> You're dumb as hell. <laughs> that's, who you, that's what you are. Isn't this the cutest little sibling love you've ever witnessed? <laughs> Stop. <laughs> I hate you. I hate you so much. Put that away. Andre. Oh, please. Andre as an A-U-N-D-R-A-Y at that. He's such a hater. He, you're ridiculous. And now you've put me on this thing. <laughs> oh my goodness. What? It's obvious that we're complete opposites. No, we're not. She's retarded. As I'm great. Tell on. your uncle, Andre, that he has offended uh, your mommy. Hey, Din Din. She doesn't like the camera. Put it away. Denver does not like the camera. Aspen does. Right, Spinny? So, Andre. Yes. Let's tell YouTube about you. No. Do we have to? Yes. She's Louise. Uh, He's a little camera shy, guys. Oh, uh, then in the sun of my face. All right, then, then get comfortable. Ow. 
Okay, dogs one and two, get comfortable. So Andre, tell my wonderful subscribers a little about yourself. My name's Dre, I teach drums. What else do you teach? You teach more than drums. I teach, I teach middle school band, but specifically percussion. Okay. Uh, I'm taller than she is. <laughs> Duh! I'm bigger than she is. I can still beat him up, though. No, she can't. I can... I'm faster than him. <laughs> so if I punch him, and then I run, and he She's can't She's also catch more me. aggressive than I am. That might be true. Anyways. I'm the exact opposite of she, basically. When's my birthday? June 2nd. His birthday is June 5th. We're three years and three days apart. I'm older. I'm 29. How old are you? Uh, I don't even know. 26, I guess. Do the math. I Obviously, forgot. I'm smarter. We have the same mommy and the same daddy, and they made two polar opposite children. <laughs> <laughs> she right. Yep. So that's my little Good brother. Good morning, everybody. I am out here at Build the Bridge warehouse it is the organization of pastor john gray and avanta gray his wife they're pastors at lakewood and they put this organization together right after the flood happened and people have came with so many donations so we are out here today organizing the donations and people are going to come and take whatever it is that they need we're just here to support the city of Houston, so I'm glad I can be of help. So the people are here, they're showing up to get all these goodies, they're leaving with their bags and stuff. There's Pastor John Gray kissing on the baby, and his wife Aventa right there. God bless them. guys good morning so I made an impromptu trip to New Orleans today New Orleans is like a six to seven hour drive from Houston so it's like a 40 minute flight um, I have a friend actually I have a few friends that live here but I specifically came to see one friend that I haven't seen since like December she's my roll dog so I need to come see her um, so we're just gonna have some fun today, do a little shopping. She's actually gonna be in Houston this weekend because we have a wedding to attend. But I just decided to come out here. I mean, you always have fun in New Orleans. Like, if you've never been to New Orleans, you definitely have to come. It's always so, so much fun, no matter what time of year it is. So hopefully we can go to Cafe Du Monde and get some really good beignets and maybe go down Bourbon Street during the day. And just you know chill and relax but yeah that's the plan thank you friend got me a gift yes for the turn up okay and then some a goodie bag okay amanda and some brushes yes i needed a new beauty blender okay oh oh yeah for the wee color of the hair The best friends y'all I tell y'all be good to people they're always good to you back mm -hmm. oh, there's, oh, they have outfit right there right there on the man there. Because now the large is looking a little like, yeah. large. Mm -hmm. Mm 
Yes, we were, yes. Yeah. I Like I never left, and I just remembered that IAH has a um, crew outfitter store, so I don't have nothing else to do, so I'm just going to go waste some time and go tram over there, catch the tram to wherever it is, and see what goodies they have. Well, that's a bummer, y'all. So this airport, my airline doesn't fly into here. So they didn't have anything for me. Like I was hoping for a cute bag tag or, or something and there was nothing. Just United stuff. United regional stuff. I don't represent them. down this street since I've been back home. This is on that book dropping next week. We'll do all that in about the next 15 minutes. Stay on tour. Y'all, I am blessed. This is literally like a minute away from my house. All these houses flooded and lost everything. I mean I literally live around the corner. houses have been here forever forever oh my god look at that one so say hi to Jay y'all remember Jay from the um one of the videos but um me and Jay are talking about the new iPhone and I was telling him that I was considering buying like an actual camera to vlog with instead of using my cell phone which is what I use now but did y'all see the release for the iPhone X or what is it called the iPhone 10 no uh -oh. the, but when they what do they do they don't they have some special term for it when they're releasing the phone or going anyway the, the key boom bam bam the keynote if y'all saw the the keynote for the release of the iPhone 8 8 plus and the iPhone X aka iPhone 10 the camera on that phone is amazing now there's portrait mode on the back and, and the, the front. front so you don't even need a digital camera anymore don't like i'm sitting here thinking like do i buy a camera like do you see these type of pictures like y'all see this hold on without the glare i know wait can we uh, uh, okay well y'all can <laughs> see but if you go on the apple website you can see just the pixelation <laughs> the density of the photo it's just it's crystal clear you don't need a camera anymore you just invest that thousand dollars in your phone okay. and call it a day. I was having a conversation, aka debate, with someone the other day on Facebook about the price of the iPhone, and I'm like, I literally live my entire life via my cell phone. If you do too, comment below and let me know what all you do from your cell phone. But I do my real estate from my cell phone. I everything. Every, I can't even name a list of everything because it's literally everything that I do. I bank for my cell phone. I email for my cell phone. I social media for my cell phone. I YouTube vlog from my cell phone. So everything that I do is on my cell phone. So I think it's worth a thousand dollars or even more. And if I can get two in one, if I can get a bomb camera and cell phone usage, text message, phone calls, 
photography, whatever. Like, why would you not spend a thousand dollars or even more on that? Investing your investment. I mean, a good right. camera, a good vlogging camera, the ones that I were looking at were easily six to eight hundred dollars. So I'm gonna spend a thousand dollars on one phone and get everything bundled into one. Makes sense in my mind. Makes sense in my mind too. What do y'all think? Let, Let me us know. know. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. This hair is going like super hard. Um, I have a wedding to attend today, so I am running some last minute errands. I have to go pick up the gift that I got them. So I ordered them a engraved Bible. It's like a, a marriage Bible. I always think that's a really good gift to get um, people that are getting married so they can have a foundation to start their marriage off of. And they are Christians, so I decided to go ahead and get them a Bible. I got my best friend and her husband that gift when they were getting married and they absolutely loved it. So I decided to get my friend and her soon to be husband the same gift i've known her since the second grade so you know i think it's a very thoughtful gift to get um and then i just left the mall actually i had to go well, i didn't have to but i haven't bought any makeup in a really long time and i've been looking at the rihanna stuff just trying to figure out like if i really wanted to get it and i had got some samples the other day and it wears really well so i'm going to do my face with that tonight or really today the wedding is in like two and a half hours um gonna do my face with that and see how it wears and i bought a lot of stuff y'all i need to take some back <laughs> but anyways i'll see y'all at the wedding this is the bible that I purchased. It's a couple's devotional Bible is what it is. And so it's brown and silver. And then I got it engraved. I was gonna put Mr. and Mrs. but the place that I was getting it, getting it engraved at, they didn't have enough M's or something she was saying. So I just went ahead and did the McKinnons and established today's date of their wedding. So that's it y'all. Okay, so I just wanted to show y'all a little before and after before I beat this face with this Fenty Beauty. And I'm super late, so let me stop talking and get to this. So, this is the after look, y'all. I'm loving it. Now, it looks good on, but I need to wear it all day to see what this oily skin of mine does. I got the primer, the foundation, um, two of the matchsticks and one of the highlighters so we'll see how it works throughout the day and then this lip gloss do y'all see this that's not rihanna that is um it's called bite you see that and this is the color uh, this is the color rose pearl by um bite it's so freaking pretty but let me get you. really say how well the makeup did because unfortunately at the wedding reception the air condition went out before we got there so we were literally there for like almost five hours without any AC so I was just sweating like crazy so I don't think it gave the primer and foundation a real chance to really stand out and do its magic like everybody says it can do so <laughs> I'm gonna try that again to, you know, just with like regular air, AC, not sweating profusely. 
But um, I had a really good time at the wedding. I'm trying to decide if I'm gonna go meet up with some friends or not, but I'm tired and I wanna go to church in the morning and I need to pack and get ready to fly out tomorrow to go back to New York. Um, because I have a reserve block that is starting on Monday, so it's time to get back to to flight attendant work. Um, but yeah, y'all, I don't know. So we'll see if I go out or not. If not, I'll see y'all tomorrow. All right, y'all, good afternoon. I missed my first flight because I was lazy laying in the bed. So I'm at the airport with more than enough time to go eat at one of my favorite restaurants again so then I'll catch my flight back to LaGuardia today and then back to work tomorrow Yay! so guys my 10 days off has come to an end I'm back in New York pleasant plane ride back here there was a cranky customer sitting behind me though United flights they just always have issues I tell you but hey, I thought I just had to handle her job pretty well. So let me get my luggage. I checked bags this time because I brought a whole bunch of winter clothes back with me and some stuff for my bed and stuff like that. So thank y'all for sticking with me throughout this vlog. It may be kind of long, um, but yeah, you know, I just like to take y'all along. Make sure that you subscribe like and share bye so some of y'all were asking what we did with the room didn't do much and don't mind our junk but fawn actually i just got back fawn moved the chair over here to the corner and then moved this shelf with all my crap on it to right here because it was blocking the chair was like in an awkward spot where it was blocking the doorway to get our luggage in so that's it so far y'all we haven't bought like any decorations or anything like that little stuff was already there so that's it that's an update on what's going on with the bedroom 